Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a nice uh, PC to repair. Uh, this is a Geekcom. You remember we, uh, we made a video about a Geekcom computer. This is coming from a customer, and the customer is saying recently bought uh, on eBay from a private seller. Long story short, I owned the device for four months before it died. I opened the device to find this components burn on the motherboard near to the power connector as shown in attached picture let's check the picture and we can see on the picture there is, there is something burn so not sure what is there but we have to open and we have to fix it hard job if that's the only problem probably not you know what i mean what can be there needs to the charging board probably a diode for inverse voltage Maybe a MOSFET. Well, let's see. Let's see. This is a nice small PC. Uh, I think we have to take out the rubber fingers. Yeah, and the screws are under. The screws are out. And the mini PC, it's open. We have only one Wi Fi antenna there. And the metal bit, it's out. I think it was the same one we reviewed with 32 gig of RAM. Wow, check there, check there. Let's check under the microscope. What is that damage? I mean, what is that? Check there. You know what components actually blow up there? No, not capacitor, no. Actually, inductors. But why the inductors, it will explode on this way? Because it's no fuse? Yeah, probably. Okay, that's not the issue. The problem is to find out why the inductor exploded. Do you think the board is shorted? Now let's check the board with ground. It's no short. No, no short. Charging port is not shorted. Main power rail, 0 ohms. Check that on the screen. So the main power rail is shorted. That's why the inductor exploded. So the MOSFET, I can bet, is fine. The MOSFET is fine. Check here. It's not short with the MOSFET. No. But the inductors are gone. So just fixing what exploded there is not helpful. We have to find the short. But the short is very short, and that looks like an easy pizza job. Uh, yeah, let's open and let's see, maybe it's a MOSFET and the CPU has zero ohms, we don't know yet. Remember we fix, uh, if we fix one before and it was like the 5 volts power supply, it was blow up. Remember that one? I mean it was not an easy job, but we fix it. Okay, the bore screws are out. Uh, you know what? I was wrong. So actually, one Wi-Fi antenna is on the other side and one on the back. So yeah, it has two Wi-Fi antennas. I am to drive. It's out. The Wi-Fi connectors are out. Now let's try to take the board out. And it looks like it's coming. Now we have... No, the BIOS battery is actually on the board. And the mini PC, it's out. Fantastic. Let's take out the fan. Because most likely the short is around the CPU. The fan is out. The heat sink is out. Yeah, we have a nice Intel CPU there. Uh, can you spot anything? 
wrongdoing. I mean, here we have monolithic drivers, so those are good. So I don't think we have a dead CPU here. I can't see anything blow up here. So all what we can do is to come with power on this capacitor. We have coil, DR MOS and capacitor, and actually see what's wrong. So lowering the power supply voltage to like one volt. We have ground. Let me bring the thermal camera on the screen. So we have the thermal camera and the microscope. So I'm going to come with current, not sure where, probably here, here is plus. And it's taking two amps and what is getting hot is something here. Wait a second. So this is an inductor, so the current to the, the, the power supply is coming through this inductor. Oh, the inductor is getting hot. Okay. So we're going to come with current on the other side of the inductor. And... And it's still getting, no, it's not the inductor getting hot, right? Is the next capacitor? No way. I mean, it's not even point checking. Check that capacitor. You can see it has a big crack on it. Yeah, it has a crack on it. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. So now we are coming with the hot air, 480 degrees. And look how many capacitors, you have one, two, three capacitors, four, five. So many capacitors. But you see, a company like Geekcom. So actually this design, you remember we seen it on Dell laptops. Dell and some Asus VivoBook if I remember. So they have, okay, not this one, this monolithic drivers. MPS uh, A694. Uh, yeah, that's the chip, monolithic drivers. And they are very good. I mean, uh, they have some um, in internal design, catastro catastrophic uh, failure detection or something like that. And in the moment, let's see, the high side MOSFETs from internal uh, monolith driver, uh, the high side MOSFET is getting shortened. On the next cycle, the low side MOSFET, it will be turned on. So in that way, the chip, it will get shorted, but it will protect the output and the voltage on the output, it will not go uh, high. Pretty smart uh, chips, yeah. If we are checking the main power rail, now it's shorted. So main power rail, short, not short. So here is ground on one side, on the other side is the main power rail plus. Let me connect back the BIOS battery. So the screws are back in place. Everything is fine now. Let's put the fan. The fan is back. So what we are doing there? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Uh, I believe in uh, no inductor, no shorted inductor, <laughs> actually no blow up inductor. So what will happen if we don't have an inductor? Uh, I, I don't think we can desolder anything there, because here everything is welded. Nah, it's nothing to desolder. Carbonize or welded? Uh, let's try to see if the solder is getting onto this pad. No, nothing. Yeah, so I managed to add some solder. Perfect. So what do you think about that? Huh? We have a solid bridge there. Let me clean. Like brand new. 
Mm? Check that. Let's plug a charger and see what he's doing, you know? We done a good job or not? So we have the power adapter, 19 volts, a bunch of amps, good. Plug in the charger and it's taking, check here, it's, it's on, it's working, the fan is spinning. Yeah, the, the PC rest, restart probably because you reset the BIOS, but everything is working fine. Let's uh, put everything back into together onto the box. So from now on, no inductor, no shorted inductor, right? Try to be honest with yourself for a second. Think you didn't have an inductor before. You have what I use, yeah, that solder bridge. What it will happen? The capacitor gets shorted. What it will happen? That's my question. Nothing. Ah, nothing. You said nothing because the yeah, the current it will go high and the charger it will cut down the power. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I see now. Yeah. I mean, I see there are a lot of brave people, but you know, I'm not crazy. So you want me to solder two inductors next to the RAM memory there on that space with hot air? No, we we, we cannot do it with hot air because we have plastic here. So you have to do it without hot air. That's a dodgy repair because you don't really have heat with the solar iron because this board, it will suck the heat. And this, it will be most likely a cold solder. You don't want a cold solder next to the charging port, which is moving up and down. Yeah. So I really believe, uh, you know, the repair I did, it's just perfect. So without the inductors there, what will happen? Nothing. Probably when the charger, it will, uh, the customer to plug the charger, it will be like a tiny spark and that's all. Everything, it will be good. I'm pretty sure about that. Remember I said many times, don't risk it for nothing, for no reason. So here everything is fine. And to drive is back in place. Yeah. Let's put this metal play back. Good, now let's close it down. We have a few days left till Christmas. So, uh, yeah, we are working hard, trying to finish everything before Christmas. Good, so everything is back in place. Let's plug the power and do a test. We do have HDMI here. So, plug in the power. Plug in the HDMI from the microscope. HDMI. Pressing the power button and the computer, it is coming on. Let's wait for the picture. We have picture. Huh? What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah. Working fine. We made a customer happy. Probably he got terrified by the explosion from the board, from the inductors. Okay, I'm going to unplug it because there is no, is no uh, password. Yeah. But you've seen it working. So. The conclusion. The conclusion is, if you are facing something... Try to get the job done. Yeah, don't try to be God or to be better than the manufacturer. That's all. All you have to do is to deliver a working product, yeah, a repair product. You should be able to give warranty and also to be affordable repair for the customer, of course. Okay, great. I'm going to stop here. I'll say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only 
cult collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.